Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to tell you about English short story by Aesop. 96. The Cat and the Birds. A cat was growing very thin. As you have guessed, he did not get enough to eat. One day he heard that some birds in the neighborhood were ailing and needed a doctor. So he put on a pair of spectacles, and with a leather box in his hand, knocked at the door of the bird's home. The birds peeped out, and Dr. Cat, with much solicitude, asked how they were. He would be very happy to give them some medicine. Tweet, tweet, laughed the birds. Very smart, aren't you? We are very well, thank you, and more so, if you only keep away from here. Moral, be wise and shun the quack. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share to channel Dan Shreyan in order to get more videos. Thank you. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to tell you about English short story by Aesop. 97. The Dog and the Oyster. There was once a dog who was very fond of eggs. He visited the hen house very often and at last got so greedy that he would swallow the eggs whole. One day the dog wandered down to the seashore. There he spied an oyster. In a twinkling the oyster was resting in the dog's stomach, shell and all. It pained the dog a good deal, as you can guess. I've learned that all round things are not eggs, he said groaning. Moral. Act in haste and repent at leisure, and often in pain. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share to channel Dan Shreyan in order to get more videos. Thank you. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to tell you about English short story by Aesop. 98. The Astrologer. A man who lived a long time ago believed that he could read the future in the stars. He called himself an astrologer, and spent his time at night gazing at the sky. One evening he was walking along the open road outside the village. His eyes were fixed on the stars. He thought he saw there that the end of the world was at hand, when all at once, down he went into a hole full of mud and water. There he stood up to his ears, in the muddy water, and madly clawing at the slippery sides of the hole in his effort to climb out. His cries for help soon brought the villagers running. As they pulled him out of the mud, one of them said. You pretend to read the future in the stars, and yet you fail to see what is at your feet. This may teach you to pay more attention to what is right in front of you, and let the future take care of itself. What use is it, said another, to read the stars, when you can't see what's right here on the earth? Moral, take care of the little things and the big things will take care of themselves. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe, like and share to channel Dan Shreyan in order to get more videos. Thank you. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to tell you about English short story by Aesop. 99. Three Bullocks and a Lion. A lion had been watching three bullocks feeding in an open field. He had tried to attack them several times, but they had kept together, and helped each other to drive him off. The lion had little hope of eating them, for he was no match for three strong bullocks with their sharp horns and hoofs. But he could not keep away from that field, for it is hard to resist watching a good meal, even when there is little chance of getting it. Then one day the bullocks had a quarrel, and when the hungry lion came to look at them and lick his chops as he was accustomed to do, he found them in separate corners of the field, as far away from one another as they could get. It was now an easy matter for the lion to attack them one at a time, and this he proceeded to do with the greatest satisfaction and relish. Moral. In unity is strength. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe like and share to channel Dan Shreyan in order to get more videos. Thank you. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today channel Dan Shreyan is going to tell you about English short story by Aesop. 100. Mercury and the Woodman. A poor woodman was cutting down a tree near the edge of a deep pool in the forest. It was late in the day and the woodman was tired. He had been working since sunrise and his strokes were not so sure as they had been early that morning. Thus it happened that the axe slipped and flew out of his hands into the pool. The woodman was in despair. The axe was all he possessed with which to make a living, and he had not money enough to buy a new one. As he stood wringing his hands and weeping, the god Mercury suddenly appeared and asked what the trouble was. The woodman told what had happened, and straightway the kind Mercury dived into the pool. When he came up again he held a wonderful golden axe. Is this your axe? Mercury asked the woodman. No, answered the honest woodman, that is not my axe. 
Mercury laid the golden axe on the bank and sprang back into the pool. This time he brought up an axe of silver, but the woodman declared again that his axe was just an ordinary one with a wooden handle. Mercury dived down for the third time, and when he came up again he had the very axe that had been lost. The poor woodman was very glad that his axe had been found and could not thank the kind god enough. Mercury was greatly pleased with the woodman's honesty. I admire your honesty, he said, and as a reward you may have all three axes, the gold and the silver as well as your own. The happy woodman returned to his home with his treasures, and soon the story of his good fortune was known to everybody in the village. Now there were several woodmen in the village who believed that they could easily win the same good fortune. They hurried out into the woods, one here, one there, and hiding their axes in the bushes, pretended they had lost them. Then they wept and wailed and called on Mercury to help them. And indeed, Mercury did appear, first to this one, then to that. To each one he showed an axe of gold, and each one eagerly claimed it to be the one he had lost. But Mercury did not give them the golden axe. Oh no. Instead he gave them each a hard whack over the head with it and sent them home. And when they returned next day to look for their own axes, they were nowhere to be found. Moral. Honesty is the best policy. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe like and share to channel Dan Shreyaun in order to get more videos. Thank you.